Jim plays drums standing up in quite a unique way. So how, what, obviously you, I assume when you learned, you learned sitting down on like a more conventional yeah. kit. So yeah. what kind of changed, what made you change to the standing up style? Was it? Well, that had to do with the straight cats because we had all studied properly and still now if I'm doing a session or if no one's looking, um, <laughs> play. um, and there was a straight cats. We had really had a concept that we wanted to, uh, we wanted to to be completely different. We wanted to present a rock band as it hadn't been seen before. And we saw some old photographs, which I found out later that it was purely for photographs, that the um, that the Blue Caps would stand up. Gene Vincent and the Blue Caps, that Dickie Harrell, his drummer, would stand huh. and um, do the show or do some songs, do a song. Or, but what we wanted to do was take the whole idea of a conventional rock band and throw it out the window and move the drums to the front of the stage. Because even in bands where there was a, the leader was a drummer, was maybe off to the side or maybe slightly behind, even Buddy Rich or like a big band orchestra, they were still behind and slightly towards the, and even when they were in the middle, towards the front, there was usually something in front of them or around them. There wasn't a traditional rock band set up where the drums were across the front. No, I, I imagine that there wasn't. We yeah, yeah. Seen, that we had seen before. Yeah. There's archaeological evidence, and someone could prove me wrong at this point. <laughs> the last 40 years, it's been. Um, a, so we played so much. We had so much opportunity to tinker around all those bars that we did. And we just said, okay, let's try it this now. Let's try it like this. So eventually, pretty early on, we hit on a, on a good formula. And I'm left-handed, so Brian wanted to jump on the drum wouldn't have worked so that's why it's on the side that it is i'm i'm on stage right because i'm left-handed so he can go and stand on the drum without having to walk all the way around ah. so um so a few of the things worked out from a necessity and some of that we just we just wanted to be completely different we didn't want to be able to be compared to any other traditional rock group so uh you had to learn how to play standing up and we took to it very quickly. You have to sacrifice being able to <laughs> your hi hat, but um, besides that, you can pretty much do anything. Just a little harder on your knees, and you gotta um, get your balance right. So, yeah, I imagine it must be pretty uh, exactly. difficult to kind of get the bass drum go in without you know, and to get a you know, get a nice action on the pedal and stuff it must be difficult because yeah, it's just learning how to do that. Yeah. You you must have your the way your leg muscles are must be different to every other drummer yeah it yeah. must be they must kind of be strong in places where other people's aren't and stuff like that that's great yeah, my right knee is taking the most beating because i'm left-handed so that's the one that you have to plant kind of you know. ah yeah now well obviously there's loads of footage of you out there obviously so if anyone wants to check it out 